Ladies and gentlemen, today we go back to War to War. We're gonna go back, play some games. It is on console, so we don't know how it's gonna be. <laughs> it might be a little terrible. Let me know in the comments if you guys want more War to War and be sure to check out our sponsor, eAdvantage. Use code LOGS for 13.5% off. Other than that, let's just jump right into it. Bruh, he's not even, oh, he is playing. Okay. Dude, the switch from PC at 120 FOV and over 200 frames to console, <laughs> 80 FOV and 30 to 60 frames. Like this, this can't be 60 frames. Like it doesn't feel like 60 frames. This game is just weird, man. I, I decided to get on the PS3 version, not because I'm hacking, because obviously I'm not even close at this point, but I basically just didn't want to hook up my Xbox. My Xbox is in my other room. I mainly just use it for, uh, you know, basically Netflix at this point. So it looks like we got a 6v6 now, and there's a few snipers in here. We got Raw Bosch, NJD, and Rex. NJD just knifed me. Love to see it. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to get back on this game because this is pretty much my favorite Call of Duty game of all time. I just love World at War. Um, I think it really captured like the grunginess of uh, World War II, like, a, like no other game has really. At least at all the Call of Duty games. I mean, you look back at all the World War II Call of Duty games, you have COD 1, COD 2, COD 3, and then obviously COD 4 went modern. But this was by far the best World War II Call of Duty. I mean, it was just so grungy. It feels like World War II. Like, look at this map. It just, it's been artilleried. This just looks like an atmosphere where war has taken place. I mean, everything's been destroyed. It's been artillery strikes. It just looks crazy. I mean, just looking at this game and feeling how it plays, I wish they would make another World War II game that felt like this, and I hope Van guard has some sort of feel like this car 98 marksman 3 let's go baby <laughs> this is by far the best world war ii first person shooter that call of duty has made and uh i can only hope that vanguard feels somewhat like this game i doubt it though i am lagging up a storm there's there's no way dude there's there's no way it's funny how this game came out in like 2008 and there are still people who like plant bouncing betties in camp njd is just absolutely destroying me <laughs> i honestly didn't expect to do well on this game because i've been playing warzone in like pc for the last freaking year it seems there's no way i was just gonna hop on world at war and be good especially on this connection i mean what, what is this connection? Also, I'm rocking the Gekkenir gamer tag today because I gotta tr pay tribute to one of the best to ever do it on World of War. There's no way anyone has the DLC, so we might as well just skip it. One more vote, please. Please, one more person, thank you. Yeah, I swear if it gives me like another DLC. Okay, good. All right, let's see if we can do better this game. Um, this guy is rocking the flamethrower. Where'd he go? Where the hell did he go? Oh, there he is. That's another thing about this game is they had just really freaking cool things added like flamethrowers and like just the snipers felt amazing. Raw Bosch is snaking me. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Oh, he's gonna be pissed. <laughs> I can only hope that Vanguard has some sort of grungy, like awesome World War II feel because from the alpha gameplay, I just can't see it being anything like uh, this game and like in terms of like realism or anything. The reason this game was so good and so fun to me was how realistic and grungy the game was. This game literally made you feel like it was just set in World War II. There were no camos. You had three kill streaks. Like it was just super, super basic. I feel like they really got away from like the simplicity that everyone loved in like COD 4 and War at War and stuff. I think that kind of went out the window as soon as they added like 20 kill streaks and all these other things. Don't get me wrong, like that adds another fun aspect to the game. Oh my god, dude, there's a no scope triple right in front of me. I don't know about you guys, but I have never looked at like a no scope triple lineup and just shot and actually hit it. Like that's never happened to me. I don't know who it happens to, but it's not me. Bro, you just turned on me, dude. 
Dude, this is what it must feel like playing on console against like PC players on Warzone. Like, I just feel like I'm at a disadvantage. I feel like these guys have like 120 frames, which I know can't be possible because we're all on PS3. I think Vanguard could be a really freaking fun game, but they just have to like pay attention what everyone is talking about and what everyone wants. From the alpha gameplay, I will say it doesn't look amazing as a game but it looks it looks fun like there's not much you can tell from the alpha i will say the sniper scopes on the alpha for the snipers looked pretty bad i never really got behind the dual rendered scopes and they looked really like small for some reason like the car 98 reg scope looked okay but then like the mosin nagant three line rifle that scope was just super small I, I just don't understand why they would do that and i'm not saying you have to go back in time to like this game where every time you scope in a sniper it blacks out the whole screen but it was pretty good and I did like that back in the day. I don't know why I have Bomb Squad on. Do not ask. I haven't played this game in a long time. I've always wanted to hit this. I'm using the PTRS this game and Bosch is going to kill me. Like just every single time. Doesn't even matter. It's honestly useless trying to snake with the PTRS because it's just, you can't, it's not as good as this bolts because there's no reason to snake with it. Oh, oh, I picked it up. No! I feel like I'm getting outplayed and I'm not. It's just like the connection is terrible and like you can't see people half the time because the frames. Bro! You would think because PS3 is like free for online and stuff, you would think that people would uh, be able to populate this game a lot, but it's just not the case. I still can't believe people play this game to this day and like hit clips, like actual like montage clips, freaking five ons and crap. I don't understand that at all. I see freaking Exalt Essence on Twitter tweeting out like fails and stuff all the time. And I'm like, how are you getting these lobbies? Like, I think it's on Xbox, but it's still crazy. The fact that people are still like raising the standards on this game when there's only like one lobby I can find right now. It is crazy though. Like how are montage standards going up year after year on these old ass games? And like, how are we raising the standards when there's less and less people playing every single day? I just don't understand it. There's really no point in like snaking with the PTRS because you don't have a bolt, so there's not really a uh, bolt time. I don't even think it works. Can you even snake with the PTRS? All right, it looks like we're actually might win this game. I have the uh, reg gunners on my team, so I always hated going against kill streaks in this game. Artilleries shook the whole map. Dogs constantly got spammed it was just so freaking annoying i would love to be able to come back on this game and just get full lobbies and record for like a montage or something but that's just not a reality the only reason i'm on this game right now is because the warzone servers are down or like the battle net launcher i couldn't open it it said it was going through maintenance right now and it won't be ready for like you know another three hours please skip outskirts dude it's team deathmatch like, we're not gonna find anyone. Just to put in perspective, the last time I got on World at War on PS3 was when Sniping Showdown was going on and they had Joe in the clan tag, the J-O, which I came up with, by the way. I will say, realistically, the Car 98 in Vanguard, from the look of it, looked a little bit more, like, realistic. But this car right here, this has to be, like, the best Car 98 in Call of Duty history. I like it more than the one on Modern Warfare, which is really freaking good. The scope isn't really historically accurate. The scope is kind of just a normal scope. But, dude, look Look at the reticle. Like how, how could you go wrong with this reticle? I love the freaking reticles on this game, man. Bandolier? PTRS is the only thing you're allowed to use bandolier on. If you're using bando bolt, you are automatically bad at this game and you deserve to not play it anymore. I don't write the rules. This was like Z Liam and Shady back in the day who said this. That was the first thing I learned on Ward at War is that if you use bando bolt, you're automatically trash. Also, if you pistol, so I'm automatically trash for pistoling. It's also 2021. I don't think those like standards apply anymore. They're kind of out the window at this point. He pistoled, NJD pistoled, trash, trash, Tra get him out of here. Get him out. 
Dude, I remember so many people saying that I used God Mode back in the day when I released my uh, Bang Logs Blitzkrieg montage. People obviously knew I was modding back in the day when I released that montage, but they just didn't know how I was modding. So they were just like, oh yeah, uses God Mode. If you're using God Mode and going for clips and you're getting shot and knifed and stunned and blown up in your clip and you're not taking any damage, how would that be remotely passable as a like clip? The only time I have ever used God mode is to get people off the flag so they don't end the game. Like it was just, I don't see how people think that you can use God mode and pass any clips off whatsoever because you're obviously going to be getting shot the entire time. It's gonna be so obvious that it's, it's not even usable. This dude's down bad. What happened? What happened to my sight? Bro, what is this sight? Has this sight always had this like reflection shit? This sight's terrible. Oh, 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 oh. And then I get knifed by Raw Bosch. All right, fuck you. 